Hi, this is Lias. Today we are going to talk about how to prepare your 3D models to be used for your kids' coloring app and how to add this model to the project in Unity 3D. Okay, so let's get started. This will, video will be divided in two parts. First, we will see how to prepare your model file ready to be imported on Unity and second, we will see how to actually add it to your project in Unity. First, you will need a 3D modeling software. It could be anything such as 3DX Max, Maya. In this case, I'm using Blender 2.79B. The aim is to have a 3D model, preferably a FBX model, and then turn it into a cartoonish model with the texture so that kids can print the image and color onto to see the 3D colored model appear onto their model, mobile device. So without further ado, let's get started. Open Blender, delete the cube and press Exit by pressing X. Go to File, Import, FBX and load the FBX model you want. If it's too small, just press S and scale it a bit. Then drag the corner to split the screen into two views. Then the right panel selects UV Image Editor. On the left panel, press NumPad 0 to get the camera view. Now go to the settings panel and in the render settings to choose resolution make it 1024 by 1024 now select the camera by right clicking onto the border and press n and scroll down the select lock camera view and then adjust the model inside the camera view after that render uh, click render to render it onto the right panel now go to render setting Again, and scroll down to find and select freestyle and increase the line thickness to your liking. Then re render it. Now go to the wall settings and do as shown in the video and re render. Now, if your model is a low poly, then select it and go to Modifier Settings and add Subdivision Modifier and increase the subdivisions to smooth out the model. Then re-render. Now select the model and press tab to go into edit mode. Press U and select project from view and go to the right panel and cut the render result. Re-render again and go to image option and choose the save as image. Choose your desired location to save it in. It's good to always save your work, so go ahead and do that. Now on the right panel, cut the render result again and open to overlay the already saved image. Now just tweak the vertices 
so that it is inside the black borders. Just right click on the vertices and drag it in. If you want, you can do this individually as shown in the video.
Just make sure all the vertices are inside the black borders. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, almost done. It's better to hire a professional 3D modelers to do the job because it might be painstakingly painful. Now, finally, go to material settings and add a new material. Delete any existing ones if you have. Now go to texture settings and add a new texture. And select the already saved background image. Now, scroll down and select the map. Now go to material settings again and decrease the specular intensity to zero. Now it is a good time to save your work again. And finally, export to FBX. It's good to save it in a separate folder. Now we are done with the blender. Now if you want, you can go to Photoshop and add a background image to your likings with the saved model image at the front and save it. Just drag the desired background image onto Photoshop. And now just drag the layer behind the front layer. Use magic wand to select all the whites and press delete. If you want, you can apply a blending option and of drop shadow and st increase the stroke from inside or outside to your likings. Once you're done with the settings you like, hit OK and then save it as a PNG image.
We are now done with the first part of preparing the FBX model and images. Thank you.